Hey, what's going on everybody? So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to change the oil on your Daytona jack. And I'm using the three ton low profile long reach jack. Uh, this is the jack that I've had for many years now and it is still going strong. And so I just want to show everybody out there how to change the oil. It was actually a request from one of my awesome subscribers. So I just wanted to make a video for him and for everybody out there. So let's get started. Now the first thing we're going to do is remove the side screws on this top plate here. And we're going to only remove the front screw, not the rear screw. And you can see we're going to do that on both sides. And not the rear screw, but just the front screw. So we'll just get a screwdriver right here and we'll remove this front screw right here. And uh, the best place to sit it so you don't lose them is just right there on the side next uh, right above the wheel. And then we'll go on the other side and we'll remove that screw as well. And we'll just do the same thing. We'll just put it on the side right there so we don't lose them. And uh, then we can now lift this plate up just like that and we'll have access to our fill bolt. And that's our fill bolt right there in the middle. And we'll just take our screwdriver again and we'll just go ahead and loosen and remove those bolts. And uh, you can see right there, once it's loosened, we can just take our hand and just uh, go ahead and uh, unscrew the rest of the bolt and remove it like that. And you can see that's the bolt with the little rubber O-ring on it. And that's our fill hole. It looks like we're a little empty on fluid. So now here we can use a syringe with some uh, plastic tubing and make sure you create an airtight seal on that tubing. Um, the manual says to just tip over the jack and drain the, the oil that way, but uh, I'm going to just show everyone out there. I'm going to show you guys a better trick. And so the first method is to use a syringe and go ahead and just um, pull out the oil that way. And you can see here the oil is coming out. And so that's uh, method number one. Now, if you have a compressor and uh, if you have a compressor, then I highly recommend this second method, which is a much more efficient, faster method. And I believe you can get more oil out, um, but both methods are great. So this is going to be your pneumatic vacuum right here. And this is also a great tool to have for bleeding the brakes. And make sure you dump all of this oil into a pan somewhere and dispose of it properly. So now we're just going to go ahead and thread the tubing in once again uh, with our pneumatic vacuum. And we're just going to thread that tube in deep. And you can see it's just pulling out all that dirty oil. And it uh, looks like um, it's, uh, yeah, that oil's been worked pretty good. So you see here now we're kind of like uh, starting to, get the last end of all that oil. So really make sure that hose is in there deep so that it gets uh, all that oil. And just keep pulling, keep your hand on that trigger so that you get all that oil out. And you can even put your thumb over the uh, fill hole just like that to create an airtight seal to get all of that jack oil out of the hydraulic cylinder. Now you can see there uh, it's still pulling but there's nothing left so now you know you are empty. So once we know that the jack is empty, we'll go ahead and roll it over some type of plastic tarp. Um, this tarp, I could have probably used a little bit bigger tarp, but I just wanted to show you guys out there, um, you know, just kind of keep something underneath the jack because now we're going to fill the jack with jack oil and uh, it can get a little messy. So here's a funnel with a really skinny neck. Uh, if you can get it even skinnier than that, great uh, the skinnier the better but if you can't here's a trick that I used so that you don't spill the fluid or the jack oil uh, just pour it nice and slow in small increments and hold the the neck over the fill hole so that it can kind of just it can kind of like fall in at a small stream like that and once it fills up like that. Uh, sometimes you got to be careful because you can hit an air bubble and it'll make it do that. So just kind of like pull that lever back and make sure that you know you don't have an air bubble. And you can see we don't have an air bubble and that the cylinder is full. And then you want to get it so that the jack fluid is 
a little bit below the top crown part of that cylinder. And once we have all the jack oil uh, into our jack, then we can go ahead and rem remove it over the tarp that we had and put a little piece of paper down to soak up that oil and then go ahead and wrap up that tarp and dispose of it properly because uh, it is an oil and so you know we don't want it to harm the environment and so once we have uh, that disposed then we're just gonna go ahead and do some rapid pumps so we're gonna open up our jack like we're lowering the car and we're just gonna give it about 10 to 15 rapid pumps and once we give it uh, 10 to 15 rapid pumps that's going to ensure that all the air bubbles are out of the air cell or out of the hydraulic cylinder. Then we'll take our fill bolt and we'll go ahead and put it back into our jack, uh, into our fill hole right there on the cylinder right there. We'll go ahead and thread it in. And um, once we have it threaded in and we know that it's not cross threaded, then we'll just take our screwdriver and uh, tighten it down. But, uh, you know, we don't want to over tighten it. Uh, just just get it tight. And uh, once we're done with that, then we'll go ahead and wipe everything up and get it nice and clean because we don't want uh, jack oil sitting on any of the paint or anything like that or the metal. We want to try to clean that up as much as possible. And uh, so now that we're all set, we can go ahead and lock down that lid again. So we'll make sure we get our uh, screws, our bolts threaded back into place here. And then we'll just take our screwdriver go ahead and start tightening down those bolts and remember we only removed the two front bolts so we're gonna go ahead and tighten those down but the rear bolts might be loose so after we tighten down the fronts we'll just go follow up on the rears and make sure that they're tight as well and uh, once we know that they're tight uh, then you know just to be safe we can just double check all of those screws again and I know it's a little overkill for a jack but hey it's better to have a nice tight jack than a loose one so now we can see here that we get nice solid pumps and it just you know it feels great you know just to have like a jack that just works well especially when you think that it's beat and it's gone and so uh, thanks everybody for watching this video uh, please leave a comment down below if this has helped your jack, if this oil change has helped your jack, this video has helped your jack, and uh, let me know in the comments down below, and thanks for watching everybody. Please like and subscribe, and until then, I'll see you guys next time.